Hey, what's up? So I'll talk about create reading from the database, querying the database. Uh, just in basics, so I'll create a file called read.crud.javascript. Uh, and what I will do is create a variable, const queries. Uh, queries will be equal to a synchronous function. Sorry, uh, like this a synchronous function. Uh, this will accept a DB, the DB connection, and we will get the users collection from DB dot collections. We already did that, and we will get the users like this. So we talked in the beginning of the series that we have real time queries. So whenever, uh, or you can think about it uh, like this. Uh, we will define a query so users to find this will get all the users without pagination it will get them all of them so and we won't execute this query we'll just define it like this and we will put the query dot and this is a, a behavior subject and we will sub uh, subscribe I can't type this word unless from the beginning so subscribe Okay, and this will have the result. And this is console log uh, result dot length. Okay, this will be an array of users. So whenever you can think about this uh, in the following uh, way, whenever the users collection uh, gets changed or the state of the users collection is updated somehow by inserting, deleting, or updating any user this function here will be triggered since we are subscribing to these kind of events so this is what they mean by real-time queries each time i'll say it again each time the collection state changes this query will be executed again so this is what they mean uh, i will show you another query we can do so users doc uh, users dot find one where name equal like this what's then e execute and i'll just console log this but this will return an, a, a big object with a lot of properties you can for example put dot remove to remove it uh dot update and update and pass uh, new properties that you not, you want to override uh, but i will only get the data so dot to json JSON like this this will retain the data for me and I will export this so module dot exports will be equal obje object with the queries key equal to the queries variable I will export this file here so oops require uh, the read crud now I will go to it's already exported from here right so what I will go I'll go here where I will go I will go here then I will import the queries and I will just call it here password the DB we should see uh, the length of the users or the length of the collection of the users or how many users we have each time we insert a user which is each two seconds so let's just start this is the result of the first query. I'm querying where name is equal to words, and this is it. Now, for each two seconds, we will see the length of the users we have, because we are setting a new user. So it will, uh, like, we are having a real-time query. If you think about it, which behaves like a hook. Whenever something happened, this hook will be get executed. For example, in the relational databases, or most of them, MySQL and Postgres have that. Um, so this is very nice. But um, uh, I think a good way dealing with this kind of database, even in MongoDB, the NoSQL databases, uh, be generous when you are uh, putting stuff in the database. I mean, you don't need to always follow the normalization. Uh, uh, I'm not sure what to call it, method. Uh, you don't need always to have normalized collections. Uh, duplicate the data, put num some extra stuff. It's, it's totally fine if you have... Uh, a lot of stuff stored you might think it's unnecessary but actually it's it is for example if you have we have here posts 
let me just tell you uh, get get to me the users that have five or more posts uh, it will be annoying to go and count the length of the post of all of them and then filter on all of them I mean in in relational databases in SQL it's, it's really easy but here it's a little bit annoying so what I would recommend that you, sh you should be generous in your properties put as much as you can to simplify your life so for example in my opinion and I actually do this I will put, put a property called posts count and this will be a number and whenever the user adds a post I will increment this whenever the user uh, delete a post I will decrement this and this actually makes my life a lot, a lot more easier I can query this collection extremely easier uh, than just uh, go and do some complex stuff here and yeah I will just read this I will filter the users by the post count I will select my for example my friends that have more than five posts this property will be really really helpful uh, so yeah that's that's my advice be generous with these uh, but you need to make sure that the number of the posts in the actual array is equal to this I mean it should be easy but yeah it's, this is something to remember uh, I hope this was useful. I uh, will continue m making these videos about this uh, database. Hopefully I can give you uh, a good context about it where you can uh, use it uh, in a real world application. And if you have any suggestions, uh, feel free to tell me. Thank you.